I hope that you're ready for relaxing yoga. To get started, as always, please be mindful of yourself and your surroundings as we get started. And Merry Christmas, or humbug, whichever you prefer. I am doing this Christmas stream for those of you that may not be celebrating in a traditional way. And I think doing yoga sounds like a great plan. So today, have yourself a blanket. Now this is called weighted blanket yoga. These are specific weights and for weighted blankets there are different weights based on your body size. So if you haven't looked into what weighted blankets are, there's a guides online and there's no particular one that's better than the other. It's really what works for you. If you don't have a weighted blanket, you can use a thick blanket or you can use nothing and just do normal yoga. There is no judgment as always in our yoga classes. So let's get started. All right. So what I'm going to do for all of these is I'm going to demonstrate the pose with the blanket off of me first, and then I'll put the blanket on. So if you want, you can watch and then find what's cozy for you. Let me just post the playlist again. First, we're going to start with an easy seat or lotus, depending on what's comfortable for you. And it's going to be shoulders back and down. So with the weighted blanket, you're going to find that it could feel heavy or you might want more. You could just have it over your shoulders. You could go for the full swaddle and just look like a little cocoon. That's fine too. This is Designs for Zen Yoga. I am Riffling Designs. And everything that we do here is based on what works for you. I call it Bob Ross Yoga. So do what makes you happy. Don't do what makes you sad. Make sure you're thinking about yourself. So to get started, just come to your breath. Notice where you are. Maybe noticing if you are at peace or maybe you need to find some peace during this Christmas season or whatever season it is when you watch this video. Your eyes can be open or closed. Again, you may need to adjust where your blankie is. <laughs> and if you want, you can start to deepen your breath here. We're going to do a square breath. If there's another breath that speaks to you, please feel free to do it. But if you're with me, you're going to inhale for one, two, three, and hold. Two, three, exhale. Two, three, and hold it out. Two, Three. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And keep it out. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And hold. Continue at your own pace. If you need to go faster or slower. Noticing the way that your body changes underneath the blanket. Maybe your shoulders might be hunching a little. Maybe sit up straighter. Focusing on the breath. Start thinking about an intention. What is it that you want to get out of this practice? Dedicate it to something like finding peace or someone. Maybe someone who is not with you this holiday season. Dedicate it to the happy memories. We're not going to use our arms for this dedication, but if you feel free, you can do any kinds of mudras or hand poses you need. We're going to set our intention again with two breaths in. First one deep breath. Exhale out. And then seal it in with one big breath in. And exhale. Now come to your normal breath. What we're going to be doing today is an extension of the aid yoga, which I have many more videos on my YouTube, again at Riffling Designs. This one is going to be a restorative or yin style yoga. So each pose will be held for many minutes. All you got to do is get comfy and just relax. 
So we're going to start with our seated cat cow again. I'm going to show you without the blanket on. So normal cat cow, you're exhaling and folding in, inhaling, lifting up, shining your chest. And your hands may or may not move. You'll notice in the blanket, this movement will feel different. If you want to take the blanket off, feel free. This is your practice. Do what works for you. Breathing with each movement. So it'll look like this. And for me, it actually feels good to hold the blanket in place. That's fine. You just want to warm up your spine and then maybe start doing some jump ropes with your spine. So pretend it's a jump rope and just kind of go in circles. You'll notice your spine, if you continue to do the cat cow movements, right? So the in and the out. And then you'll want to go the opposite direction. Remembering to focus on the spine going in and out, twisting around. And also notice your sits bones where you're touching the ground here. And then if you want, you can do some neck rolls or any other movements you need to really warm up here. Only do what feels right. If there's any tightness or sharpness or pain, please back off. Going both directions to make sure you're nice and balanced. And when you're ready, we're going to come into staff pose. So I'm just going to turn to show you, but find wherever it is you need to be on your mat. Again, I'll start without the blanket. So staff pose, your legs are out, your heels and toes are flexed in. You're sitting up straight like this. And that's all there is to it. So with the blanket, you have two options. Either continue to put it over your shoulder, or if you want, you can put it over your legs. Um, you may or may not want it under your toes. That could put some stress on the toes, but it also might feel like a cool little pulling of the toes. And actually, I kind of like that. So I'll sit here in staff pose with my toes flexed blanket over top nice and cozy hands can be on the ground behind you or on your legs whatever's comfortable and we're going to hold this pose for two minutes so again make sure you've got that good music playing and just come into staff pose notice how the blanket feels on your body comfort and warmth notice where your body is touching the ground, those points. If at any time you need an extra cushion underneath your sits bones, you can put a blanket underneath as well. Again, in the other AIDS Yoga videos that we have on YouTube, you can find more information on blankets and blocks, which we will use in the later portions of this practice as well. Stay with your breath. You don't have to do box breath, just do any Breath that feels natural and right to you. Make sure the shoulders are back and down. And again, you can change your pose if it starts to feel uncomfortable. And start being mindful of your intention as well if you need to come back to it. You want to still your thoughts and just be present. Ask yourself where you are, what is this right now, how you're feeling. Focus on the breath. We'll be here for about six more breaths. Keep going. Three, two, and one more breath. Now again, I'm gonna show you without the blanket to start, we're gonna do a forward fold. So you have the option of just folding over your legs here, or if you want, you can do the wide-legged fold, open your legs and fold over them. I would say with the blanket on your back for that. It's really what you want to bring into this stretch, but either way, you'll be folding over your legs and finding where your blanket wants to be this sun to kind of swaddle up here. So for me, I've got the weight on my back and it's actually pushing me a little deeper into the fold. 
remember, you don't want to go too deep. If you find what they call the edge, which is, it feels tight, you can do it, but it's like a little challenging, then you want to just back off just a little bit. And as we hold this pose again for a few minutes, you're going to notice your edge will shift. And you'll probably be able to bend a little more. That's fine. That's how bodies kind of warm up into the poses. But just always stay a little bit back from that extreme that you could do. Are you want to focus on your breath here? Maybe let your head go. Roll your neck a little. Coming back to that intention. If your neck comes to stillness, if that feels right to you, or if you need to keep rolling, roll away. Breathing. Now perhaps bring some motion into your ankles. If your feet are covered, this may or may not work, so again, use your judgment here. You can roll your ankles one way and the other. Just noticing how everything feels. Breathing. And that can come to stillness. We're going to stay still here for another minute. Focus on your breath. Where you are right now. Breathing. And noticing the temperature of your breath on your mouth nose, the air on any exposed skin if you have some that's not covered. Well, notice how cozy it is in the blanket as well. Focus on those sensations. Acknowledging that your body changes from day to day, from hour to hour. And be thankful that you're here right now, practicing. And we're gonna be here for six more breaths. Three more breaths. And when you're ready, you can stay there and just look up at the screen. So I'm gonna show you the next pose again. We're gonna go into child's pose. So this one you might need to do a little fussing about. So normal child's pose, you start on your hands and knees, you put your ankles and toes together, you widen your legs across the mat, and then you sink your hips back and walk your hands out. Now, the trick becomes where to put the blanket. And you don't need to use the blanket. But if you want extra coziness, I'm going to put it on my back by my neck, but it's probably going to shift a little. Make sure that the excess weight is behind you. You can actually put some between your legs as like a cushion too. That's something else we teach in the blank, normal blanket yoga on YouTube. Wherever you are, you just want to... Again, let the blanket help melt you down into the ground for your child's pose. And while you're here, maybe massage your forehead on the mat, rolling it back and forth. Press your hips back and down, finding relaxation in your child's pose. Notice how your ribs expand with each breath in and pull in with each exhale. And focus on that as we stay here for about a minute. And again, if you notice any discomfort, feel free to shift. Maybe put a blanket under your knees, block under your head, whatever you need. We'll be here for six more breaths. Just 
three more breaths. And again, you can always stay here as long as you need. If you're with me, you'll start to get up. We're going to do a seated twist. So I'll show a couple to you. We've gone through many in all of my other videos. So the first one is you just sit cross-legged and you rotate your body and your chest, keeping your hips down and you turn one way. So for this, again, you can wrap the blanket over your shoulders. And of course you do, I'll tell you when to switch to the other side. So that's one, just seated. Another option you have is either a Marichi or a Lord of the Fishes where you pull one leg in, extend one leg out, and you twist over that leg. So this leg can either be here or you can cross it over like this. Again, maybe then you would put the blanket on your leg or on your shoulders, but that's another one. Looks like this. Or you can put your hand down wherever feels comfortable. And then you have deer which would probably feel pretty cozy is when your legs are pinwheeled like that. Or my favorite, which I'm gonna do is shoelace. So that's where you cross both legs over. It's also called cow face pose. So your knees and your hips are actually crossed over each other and you grab your ankles. So find your twist and then find your blanket. And this one has a lot of options. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here for about three minutes. So if you notice you need to shift, feel free. Try to hold the pose in a way that's comfortable for you as your shoulders back. Easy breathing. And again, notice the feeling of the blanket. If it doesn't feel good, <laughs> keep adjusting. There we go, we have the short end. Come to stillness. Focus again on your intention and your breath. In the twist, you're gonna notice your spine. On an inhale, maybe you lengthen up. On an exhale, maybe you twist a little more only, again, going what's comfortable for you. You can try and close your eyes. Notice how everything feels. If there's any soreness or tightness, notice that. It feels really good. Notice that too. You can do this anytime. Anytime. And again, notice your breath. How in the twist, your ribs and diaphragm modify. Maybe there's a little tightness. If it's too tight again, relax, but just notice how it feels with those deep inhales and exhales. We've got about another minute or so here. Again, come back to your breath. Find stillness and we'll hold this for another minute. Six more breaths. Three more. And when you're ready, you're gonna start to unwind. You may wanna remove your blanket for this. So first you untwist your spine, and then you're gonna flip your legs to the other position. So whichever way it is, if one was pulled up, take the other one down. If one was crossed over, use the other one on top. And then pull your blanket back up 
and then go into the twist. And we're gonna be here for three minutes on the other side as well. So notice here how different it feels when you're twisting the other way. Was it tight on your hips on one side and maybe not so much on the other? Do you sit up straighter or do you twist more this direction? Again, your body changes every day <laughs> in between the hours. So you have to find what works for you, what speaks to you. Again, on an inhale, maybe you lift up a little and the exhale, twist a little deeper. Coming into your seated twist, notice the blanket. See if you need any other adjustments before we come to final stillness here in your deep seated twist. Focusing on the breath, shoulders back. Eyes can be open or closed. Bring that gentle breath and your intention, finding peace, knowing that everything will be all right. We all go through challenges and our minds are often part of the challenge. So tell your mind to let go, that it won't control you now, that you'll find peace, that you can stop worrying, even if it's just while you're on the mat. This is your time. You can do it. We're gonna hold for one more minute. Come into that stillness and focus on your breath. Six more breaths. Three more. And with your last breath, start to slowly unwind that twist unwind those legs and you may want to do a counter pose here so oftentimes a good counter pose is windshield wipers where you take your legs wide and you flip your knees back and forth or maybe some cat cows maybe even for me this i think is going to feel really good some normal cat cows listen to your body here right what does it need and if it's nothing that i've told you that's fine too this is your practice Oh, and if you have practiced with me before, you know I love to do this one just to get a little extra deep bend in, but sometimes you got to be warmed up for that. So do what works for you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our side. So you may want to have a pillow or a block. Ta-da! And if you don't have a block, if you have been with me before, you know that paper towel rolls will work really well. So... Uh, they'll get a little squished, but that's okay. What you do is you're going to go to your side. And again, I'm going to demonstrate here. You're just going to lay on your side like those French lady drawings, right? Get comfy. I put this between my legs so my knees don't hit because I got <laughs> bony knees, right? And you're just going to cushion your arm on your head. Or if you want a pillow, please do. Please do. This is like the cozy bedtime one. And then you just roll yourself up. So it's just laying on your side with your arm as a pillow, legs with support if you need it. This is not a twist, so we're not trying to twist one over the other. You want your legs on top of each other. And then just use the blanket. And now one of the things about the weighted blanket is that if you put, if you double it up, it weighs more obviously. And if you put it across more of your body, it's spreading out more of that weight. So you could go all the way like this in a little sleepy bag and hide out like a cocoon. That's fine too. Uh, again, this is your practice, so find what works for you. My little Santa beanie's got this little pom-pom at the top and it's kind of a cushion too. 
So where are you at? Notice your hip bones are going to get a little pressure here. Maybe you need to put a blanket under them. Maybe you want another block between your feet to use. Start to come to stillness. Focus on your breath again. Notice the weight of the blanket pushing against your ribs. The strength of your breath opening up. The lungs pushing back against the blankie. Again, notice the ground pressing against you. Your, your lungs, your ribs are pushing against the ground. Every little bit of your body. It doesn't seem like work, but your body is always working. So here, again, we'll be here for a couple minutes. Come back to that intention again. This is something you can literally do in bed. It's just finding stillness. Allowing your body to relax. Being one with yourself and just yourself for this practice. That's what yoga is about. Listening to your body, listening to your mind, listening to what you need. Which again, on the holidays, sometimes it's about giving more than you can, right? Too many spoons. Or maybe just enough spoons, but remember to save a spoon for you to be able to take care of yourself. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this on Christmas Day. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm not doing anything on Christmas Day, so surprise. Uh, it's good for me, too. I really didn't want to push it off from my normal final Saturday of the month stream. We're going to be here for one more minute. I'll let you have some peace and quiet. Again, remember to focus on your breathing and your intention here. Six more breaths. Three more breaths. And now you can just look up at the screen here. You don't have to move. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. So again, I'm just without the blanket to demonstrate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my chest so my lower arm is extended out. And I do like a little clam here. So my hands make a clam and then I open up the shoulders all the way across the back. And that's all you do. So you probably want to move your blanket down to your hips or maybe remove it if you want. And the idea again is just clamshell with the shoulders down so you're actually rotating your torso, getting some movement into your chest, shoulders, and arms. Your head can do whatever it wants. If you want to lay down, you can lay down. If you want to twist with it, twist with it. And do this for about 30 seconds. So here's a little bit of motion, but again, we're working on our shoulders here. So keep going. Now that we've done about 30 seconds worth of clamshells, now you have the option when your hands are down to sweep your arm up over your head, back and around. And notice this is going to be a big shoulder stretch here. I'm actually going to put the blankie on too because that's a little bit chilly. <laughs> so here we go. Up, over, around, down. So you're doing a full circle like an arm on a clock rotating your shoulder and again where your neck and head go is up to you you can roll your chest or keep it still here it's what feels good to you and we'll do two more circles here and then go the other direction counterclockwise if that's the way that you went before notice how different your arm feels circling this way 
breathing. Inhale as it goes overhead if you can. Exhale as it goes down. And then when we've gotten to about the same amount of circles on the other side, you can kind of stillness making that little clam again here. Just breathe and then pull your hands up overhead and just roll over <laughs> onto your back. And we're just going to stay here for about a minute before we switch to the other side. So your hands could be up above or down, you could cocoon yourself, wherever you want to be. It's like a baby savasana. Notice your shoulders, how they feel after that. Notice your hips, your knees, all those parts that were a little engaged here. And I'm just going to rotate around so you can see my face. <laughs> Stay where you are for about three more breaths. And then we're going to roll to the other side. So now we've got your blocks. Your hips down, you get your arms so that you're resting your head on it, or maybe a pillow. And then you take your blanket and you throw it over. <laughs> Again, it doesn't have to be graceful, it just has to be relaxing. And there we go. And we'll be here for about three minutes. So on this side, I'm noticing my hip bone is much more sore. Actually, I'm going to rock back and forth a little bit just to massage. It's like around the IT band, which you always want to be careful of that, but it feels good. You can always make any adjustments you need. Again, make sure that your knees are on one on top of the other here. You don't want the twist yet. We'll do that later. Come back to your breath and your intention again, noticing how your breath pushes against the blanket and the ground. Come back to your intention. Peace begins with you. Wherever you are, again, those thoughts can take you <laughs> into crazy places really fast and they just compile and then all of a sudden you are in a place that you should not be, in a place where no one should be. So find a way to give yourself comfort, to understand that you can't control things that you can't control. It sounds obvious, and yet we always want to have that safety. And when we have things that we can't control, that Fear, anxiety, nervousness, anger. You can have any emotion. Those emotions won't help you. Communicating, breathing, accepting what you can and working on what you can. That's important. It's difficult, but important. So I'll give you one more minute here. Six more breaths. Three more breaths. And when you're ready, again, we're going to shift our shoulders and rotate our chest and come down to the clamshell on the other side, reaching one arm on the bottom out so it's on the ground, palm up, other hand comes out to reach it, and then start to do your open and closes. Breathing, exhale, close, inhale, up. And again, rotating your chest and neck and head in any way that feels good to you. Keeping your legs together here. Noticing the difference on this side. 
I'll do about three more. And one. And when you're ready, come back to the closed clam. <laughs> and then we're gonna start doing the clock. So opening your arm back around, down, and then meeting your hand, continuing that circle with your breath and noticing it where your chest and your head want to go. Do what's comfortable for you. Notice how different this shoulder joint may feel. Shoulders can be sensitive, so only do what feels right for you. No tightness or stinging, pinching, pain, burning. If there is, please stop and consult your medical professional. One more time around this direction, and then close the clam and go the opposite way back around up and down noticing the difference in your body going this direction and if you've got your blanket on noticing how that grounds you and holds your legs stable while your torso does the stretch and then we're gonna go and the last one back close your clam this time we're going to roll onto our belly so you're going to take your blocks and pillows move them away if you have them i'll show you without the blanket first we're going to go into either crocodile sphinx or cobra so crocodile is easy and fun all you do is lay down <laughs> like this with your head to one side and your hands can be palms up or down legs extended it's awesome and lazy so this can be your yoga pose you can do cobra or baby cobra, which is lifting your chest and putting your hands underneath you with your elbows back and almost grazing your ribs. Hello, welcome to the stream. So here we are in our baby cobra, or if you really want a little more challenge with the blanket on your back, you can get into sphinx where your elbows are underneath your shoulders, hands with your hands outstretched, fingers wide, and you're pressing down here. So whichever of those three you want, your crocodile, your cobra, or your sphinx, get set, then pull the blanket over, and then come into that pose. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bit, welcome, welcome. My eyesight's not good enough to see who's here, but I'm very glad that you're here. And Raven, all right, welcome. There's the playlist if you want. Join me for some relaxing cobra. I know my audio is not great when I'm back there, but yes, I'm very happy to see you all. So we'll get yourself covered up and then put your arms where you want. Yeah, you're going to notice different pressure. I like my sphinx, so I'm doing it like this. In whichever of the back bends, if you're doing a cobra or sphinx, you don't want a lot of pressure in your lower back. When you're here, you want to feel the weight of the blanket pushing you into the ground and you pushing back, but not, not too hard, if that makes sense, right? But again, going back to Bob Ross style, no pain. It should feel like a stretch. If you're in crocodile, shift so that your head is facing the other direction. That way your neck gets a stretch on both sides. Wherever you are, coming back to your breath, we're gonna be here for about two more minutes. Again, notice the temperatures of your breath and your mouth and your nose. How when you pull it through into your lungs, you're able to change the shape of your ribs. They actually expand and contract. And in this little back bend, you might notice it pressing more onto certain parts. Again, no pain, but definitely, definitely notice. And if you take a really deep breath in here, just hold it at the top for a moment. And notice that pressure it's placing on your ribs <laughs> and then let it go. And so it's really, Everything in yoga is about balance, right? It's the in and the out, the, the pressure up and the pressure down, gravity and your muscles pushing against it. 
In poses like this that are the long holds, this relaxing restorative yoga, you're getting deeper into the tendons and less into the muscle. So you really are just trying to relax the, the back and the shoulders here. And once again, I'll give you the last minute of peace. Silence. Six more breaths. Three more breaths. And again, I'm gonna just show you, we're going back into your child's pose. So you can keep your blanket on, but again, child's pose, Toes come together, so you're kind of lifting up and back. You're probably gonna adjust your blanket or just take it off and then put it back on. But you're taking your toes together, knees wide, and then you go forward down into child's pose. So probably when you're sitting up with your knees wide, toes together, take your blanket up. Woohoo! And it's so heavy. <laughs> and then you fold down, letting it press you in that gravity. So here, if your hands want to go somewhere else instead of straight out. There's a couple options. You can take them up into like a little prayer above your head, which gives you a good forearm stretch, like this. Or you can put them behind you. Um, you can grab your legs or your ankles. Again, find what you need to in your little cocoon child's pose. And we'll be here for about a minute. Again, come back to your breath. Notice again how gravity pushes up and the blanket pushes down. Wait, gravity and the blanket push down. <laughs> Notice how you push up. There we go. That's the relaxation. Again, we have fun here at Rift Wing Designs. There is no wrong thing. Just enjoy. be here for six more breaths. Three more breaths. And when you're ready, you can come up to a seat. I'm going to show you, we now only have 15 minutes left. This goes super fast because we hold these poses for so long. So what we're gonna do now is get into our final relaxation. If you wanna do a vinyasa here, please do. If you have any other stretches that you wanna do, please do. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be doing a twist on our back, and then we're gonna do our long, long, long savasana because it's just nice and cozy. So again, please do anything else that you want. Now remember I said we were gonna do our twists later, so I have to adjust this thing. It's so heavy. I, I need to practice lifting it. So um, now you can see me. From your back, you can go into whatever twist you want, like pull your knees in. I always like this. And then extend one leg out, roll that ankle, and go into the twist here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a block under my knee because I know that they, I have bony knees again. <laughs> And when I go into the weighted blanket over me, that presses my knee down a little more than I like to twist. So I'm gonna take this blanket over the knee and the block, or again, you can use a pillow or a blanket. So I'm getting that twist, and remember in a, in a laying twist, you want those shoulder blades both pressing down, so you have the leg twisting across and the shoulder blades down. Arms can be out wherever works for you, and your head can be looking in the opposite direction of the twist. Remember our seated twist from the beginning? Notice how different it feels to be laying because now you've got a long stretch and the weight of the blanket is helping you go into the stretch whereas before it was kind of just compressing the spine. Maybe you prefer one over the other and that's fine. 
Yoga is all about discovery. Finding what works for you. Finding what you need. <laughs> finding that relaxation. I'll be here for about 30 more seconds. Just settle yourself in for six breaths. Three breaths. And again, you may or may not be able to twist over with the blanket on top of you. Do what you need to to come back to center. And then go into your twist on the other side. So for me, I'm extending one leg out, crossing over, getting my block, putting it down, and then pulling the blanket over. Be a little awkward when you're in the twist already trying to pull the blanket over but again you don't have to do this you can do it without a blanket this is just something interesting for us to do so once you're in your twist again shoulder blades both down focus on your breathing here and maybe look the opposite direction of the twist come back to your intention again peace or whatever else that you need right now, or whoever else is with you in this practice. As we're starting to wind down, appreciate even though it was slow, even though it's not traditional, this is yoga, and you are practicing and giving yourself that time which can never be taken away from you. That is a gift in itself, so Merry Christmas. I'll be here for six more breaths. breaths. And then start to work your way back onto your back, untwisting, removing the blocks. And we're gonna, you have the option of just going straight into your savasana, so just laying down with the blanket on you, or if you want, we're gonna do a couple minutes of legs up the wall which I have read about, but I have not tried. So here's my research coming real. So for legs up the wall without the blanket, what you do is you scooch over to a wall, get super close, and then you rotate up and you put your legs up the wall. So what I read is that you can put the blanket on your feet and it pushes back against your feet. Ugh, like that. Now this may or may not be comfortable because it's really, I feel it pulling my toes down, but it's giving me a great stretch on the back of my legs. Like my calves are getting a cool stretch here. So maybe you make yourself into a little Christmas tree here with the weighted blanket, or maybe you just have it on your belly, or maybe you're just in your savasana. So if you want to experiment with me, feel free. We'll be here for about three minutes. If you're in your legs at the wall, your arms could be out, the sides, T-pose, even above you at a diamond. And maybe you need a little cushion or mat underneath your hips again. We've gone through a lot of options, and if you haven't seen them, please do visit my YouTube, where I have AIDS Yoga as a playlist. And this will go up there as well, of course. Again, notice your body. As we start to relax, if you are up the wall with or without blanket, this allows the blood flow to be more relaxed as well because you're pushing blood back up the body is a significant effort. <laughs> and um, when the body can just drain naturally back to the heart, that is uh, invigorating. I'm sure there are more medical ways of describing it but it does help to refresh the body and allow your heart to work a little bit less. 
So, absorb the benefits of this inversion. And maybe roll your head back and forth here. Let your neck relax. And then I'm going to give you a little bit more silence here just to enjoy either your savasana or legs up the wall. And again, in a couple of minutes, we'll switch to full savasana. So focus on your breath and your intention as we enjoy this restorative pose. And we'll do about six more breaths here. Again, you have the option of staying here if you like this. Feel free. Three more breaths. And if you decide to come with me back down, I recommend moving the blanket first. And gracefully or not rolling over finding your way into your final savasana. So this again, corpse pose, where you're stretching out with your legs extended and your arms down and your head relaxed. Of course, with the blanket, that means tucking yourself in before you go down. And maybe keeping your feet out, if that's too much pressure, holding your toes down. And pull it up as far as you want. Get nice and cozy, wrapped up in your little sleepy bag. And once you're there with your arms extended, palms can be up for gain, gaining energy or down to ground. And we have been focusing on grounding here, so if you'd like to, palms down. And you can let your eyes start to sink. Gently close. And I'm going to take you through a little guided meditation and then give you some silence as well. So with your eyes closed, allow your thoughts to gently explore your body. Notice, again, the pressure of the blanket weighing down on you. How your lungs and body press against it and how you press against the ground as well. Feel your body's connection to the earth. Imagine that there's a tether between the base of your spine around your navel, and it extends all the way down into the core of the earth. It's full of energy connecting you to the strength, stability of the earth. What color is it? Is it a chain or magma, electric, cord, maybe just sparkly? How is your connection to the earth? What is it? What does it look like? Imagine each breath pulling in more positive, clean energy and it connecting all the way through your body and down into the earth. And with each exhale, letting go of any negativity, it just dispels, it just disintegrates because the earth is a grounding and it takes any negativity and dispels it. 
that cord is tied to the core of the earth and it's tied to you. If you ever feel like you're floating away, know that that anchor is there. That strength is within you. Notice the center of the earth now in your mind's eye. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it glowing? Whatever it is, take that energy from the center of the planet and notice how it flows up that cord or that sparkles or your chain, whatever it is, it's flowing up to your navel. See that energy and the color and the size and the strength and the style that it is just for you. And allow that to spread like warmth, just like in your belly when you have a nice hot meal. Have it spread to your legs and toes. Spread up your chest and arms into your head until a warm glow surrounding your whole body with each breath in, continuing to build that strength, that connection that you have. Hold on to that energy. And know that it's there whenever you need it. Again, begin to notice your body and where it is. Feel that cozy, gentle hug around you. And I'll give you a minute's silence just to come at peace and feel what you need as you finish your savasana. And you can stay here as long as you need. But if you're with me, start to notice your body again, maybe bringing gentle movements into your fingers and toes. Kind of rolling around a little bit, noticing that blanket. And when you're ready, you're going to have to shift your blanket as you go into that full body stretch. Really waking up and thanking your body for doing that nice, cozy, relaxing yoga. And then totally remove the blanket, roll on to one side, and just stay there for a moment. Just thank yourself for being here, knowing that you can come back to this at any time. <laughs> Both the video will be available and you can do yoga on your own whenever you need to find that peace. And then come up to seated. Again, if you wanna pull the blanket around you, feel free. Wherever you are, just roll your shoulders back, your eyes can be closed or you can have a gentle gaze. We'll come back to that intention. Thank yourself for being here and decide if you want to continue to carry that intention with you as we go through towards New Year's. And again, if you're able, you can inhale, arms up. Exhale, pull your hands together to your heart. Thank yourself for being here just as much as I thank you for being here. We'll seal it and set our new intention with two breaths again. Inhale, let it go. And your biggest breath yet. And exhale. And take your thumb knuckles up to your forehead, your center of intuition, wisdom, and the light and love and Christmas spirit in me. Thanks to light and love and whatever spirit you have inside of you. Namaste. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for joining me for this yoga, and I hope to see you again in the new year.